This is the weekend edition of iFiber One News, where we present some of the top stories from this week and your weekend weather forecast. I'm Bethany Jenks. Stay tuned for the weekend edition of iFiber One News. From the iFiber One HD studio here in the heart of the Columbia Basin, this is iFiber One News. Your number one source for local news, sports headlines, and our very own Weather Center forecast covering the entire Columbia Basin. This is iFiber One News, and it starts now. One of our top stories for this week comes from Moses Lake with a group of volunteer gleaners who are harvesting unwanted food to help the local food bank. Reporter Jeff Chu met up with the group and has the story. Grant County's harvest season is nearly over, but a group of Moses Lake area residents are out in the carrot field picking what has been left behind. The so-called volunteer gleaners are those who harvest the vegetables and fruits that go unwanted in the marketplace because they are weirdly shaped. They pick for the Moses Lake Senior Center and Food Bank. Gleaners say just because the carrots look more like turnips or pumpkins makes no difference. They're still sweet and tender and can be cut up and cooked sight unseen. Rob Callum, who heads up the gleaners, said they picked more than a half million pounds of produce last year. What do they pick? Just about everything they have here in the, in the basin. That can be anything from asparagus to apricots. When a farmer notifies Callum that a field is ready for picking, that's when the gleaners spring into action. The group of more than 120 families is based out of the Moses Lake Senior Center, and each gleaner pays $20 a year for the privilege that allows them to take home some of what they pick. The food can be canned or frozen for the winter. Callum said the gleaners make some major field hauls. One field we did, we took 24 apple bins down there. And last year with the squash, we filled up 40, I think 43 bins of butternut squash for the food bank. Rachel Fry of Moses Lake has been gleaning for about 10 years. It started with a phone call. A friend called me up and says, hey, we're going out for potatoes. You want to come with me? <laughs> Fry said she gleans as a healthy alternative that helps her family keep food costs down. Now my pantry's pretty full. I've got uh, close to 500 pounds of potatoes in my basement, about 200 pounds of onions. Um, I'm still working on tomatoes and apples and um, I'll be doing the carrots and all my canning jars will be full by the time I'm done. Fry's daughter Samantha follows her mother into the carrot field. A senior at Moses Lake High School, Samantha has been gleaning with her mother since she was six years old. Samantha figures she's gleaned about 6,000 pounds. That's why she's gleaning for her high school senior community service project. All the food that I have collected, I've donated to the senior center, the food bank, or my mom's pantry. And it, it helps feed the community because you hear so many stories about how people are going hungry and you know that's not acceptable when all this food is going to waste out in the field. So it's a good thing for people of the community to come out and get the produce and try and be as self-sufficient as they can. I'm Jeff Chu for iFiber One News. In Ephrata, city officials and community members honored and remembered longtime Ephrata resident Doug Miller with a ceremonial tree planting. Reporter Jeff Chu was there and has more. More than 50 people remembered Ephrata businessman and photographer Doug Miller during a memorial gathering Friday at Sun Basin Plaza. A birch tree was planted and a plaque was placed at the park in the late photo studio owner's honor. Afraid of Mayor Chris Jacobson said Miller was passionate about family and his community. He said Miller knew how to turn the political screws to get things done. Jacobson said Miller advocated for youth in the area. Miller's widow, Madeline, remembered him as a man who became the first non-staff photographer to have a photo placed on the cover of National Geographic magazine. From his backyard in Afreda, Miller shot the eerie photo of clouds of ash coming from the 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens. Jay Mills, president of the City Parks and Recreation Committee and head Afreda High School coach, officiated the memorial event. I'm Jeff Chu for iFiber One News. And now we'll take a look at people being sought by the law enforcement. This is Sheriff Tom Jones with the Grand County Sheriff's Office. Each of the people you see here have a warrant for their arrest. 
If you see any of these people, we ask you to not attempt to detain or apprehend them, but call us at 509-762-1160 or send us an email at primetips at co.grant.wa.us. If the person is presenting a danger, call 911. With your help, we can bring these people to justice and make our community safer. We'll be right back after this.